Okay. Um, hi guys. Um, my name's um, Chris, and um, I am your classmate here in um, Level Design. Uh, I'm gonna be kind of going over the game that I created. Uh, I'm gonna answer the questions and um, definitely answer any questions that you guys um, send my way. Uh, this is my title screen. Um, I just really simple title screen. I was thinking of like something kind of spooky, kind of um. I was thinking of even doing some artwork for it, but um, I just really like the simple background of just darkness and just red and black. Like, um, just these colors always represented to me like something scary, and um, I just went ahead and went with that. Um, these assets right here, uh, uh I just have these signs. Um, I found these on um, hmm, one of the reference uh page. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one it was, but um. You know, just put it on the engine, um, and uh, just you know made a button out of it. Uh, made it make sense. Uh, I put in the text and made sure that it was in the center. Um, I made sure that all my buttons were clickable. Um, and every time that we're in this title screen, we hear that little kind of creepy sound that I found in um, free sounds. Um, this uh, creator named Inspector J. He made amazing sounds, and I gave him credit in the credits. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the um, credits. Um, very simple credits again. Um, I wanted to kind of keep that like scary vibe of just like red and black. And um, uh, well, how I made my credits was um, at first I was trying to do the Unity engine, um, the text from there, and like it was going okay. But um, I was realizing when I was seeing some other classmates and. Um, seeing that my text was um kind of changing size i was like you know what let me um go to photoshop and give the same dimensions as the game was and uh, you know i created a transparent image with just text and you know i was able to pick a lot more font than just the area that we have in unity so i just um simple just created the text just made the credits i wanted to make it as simple and basic as possible because um Again, just giving the thanks to the people that helped me out and um, the music, of course. Um, yeah, and then um, in the bottom, just again, created um, a button just to click back. Uh, it's real simple. I, I usually like video games when, like, I, every time I play a game, I really love to go through, like, just the menus, the instructions, credits. And when you enter these, um, just something simple to get you back to the main page. Um, and instructions, same thing. Did this all through Photoshop. Um, just to give it that um that that, that image that si that great size and um same thing how to play you just use um the basic a and d to move at first i was gonna go ahead and do um some vertical movement but um just the way that my my game was um i guess designed especially the artwork it just um it was just a left and right type of video game instead of like i guess an aerial view and um being able to go vertical but um, yeah, so it's just simple A and D, and then I have E to interact. I wanted to um, uh, actually do a lot more than what I decided to do, um, and that's actually answering one of the questions, which was um, uh, where was that question? Um, uh, oh, does uh, did the end um, did the product uh, match what I originally planned? And what I originally planned was to um, actually make a platformer where I would jump on um platforms and be able to grab the notes and be able to take them with me but um that didn't go as planned because of um uh definitely time but there was um just especially like with my um my skill with coding it was just really tough for me to like kind of grasp the putting it in a in an item slot or something like that so i just went ahead and just uh, made e to interact for the doors and then um r to restart made sure that the game was able to restart because um throughout the game there's going to be plenty of um rooms that can get you frustrated because um i made it to where if you enter the wrong room you will um your character will um will die and um there's also some rooms that will restart you back to the first room so if you ever get frustrated or you just don't want to wait you just press r to restart and then of course the escape to close the application um right now i'm playing in windowed mode so i can exit out but if it was in full screen i could just simply hit escape and it'll close the game 
Um, what I like to do with that is um, I like to attach the escape to close application to my character. Because I know I think someone asked me a question like, you know, hey, how are you able to move through um, some levels so nicely? And I'm kind of kind of explain that, but I just I like to attach this to the character. But when it's a game over screen, I actually attach um, a separate script to the game over screen, which allows me to restart and close application without the character. Because if I keep the care, I just didn't actually I just didn't like the way it looked with the character in the game over screen. So I just wanted just to make it a separate screen. I just put that separate script. Same thing with the um, the game completion. So I put um, the restart and the close application in a separate um, script. And then uh, just my instructions. So in the game, you're just going to use the notes that were left behind to find a way out and don't enter the wrong door. Uh, let's go to, and then this is um, the start button. So we're going to go in the game. Um, this is um, the first intro level. Um, what I like to do was, um, I guess, right when the game started, um, my character has an animation where he looks up. So I wanted to kind of just like show that he's reading the notes on top. So um, yeah, when you enter the game, uh, you're going to have these notes on the top. And um, it's going to kind of help you and guide you through the, the whole game. And um, Uh, I'm sorry, I was just um, remembering uh, some things that I was trying to do. Um, yeah, so, um, like I said, the, these notes, um, I kind of wanted to make like a plan where um, someone was leaving these notes behind that tried to escape the room. Well, the, the house, I guess. And um, at the same time, kind of like have someone else leave notes that would try to get you killed. So, um, yeah, so I have that, um, again, we move around, um, I don't know if you saw this right now, um, where I'm able to moonwalk, um, <laughs> it's funny how I'm finding the bugs, but uh, I think the only way that I would be able to correct that is, um, uh, instead of having 0 0.1 for the animation, because I remember we were trying to do that in the Betty, um, assignment, that, um, I might need to make it a lower number, because if you go really fast, it actually, like, so I can see, I can do it, I can't do it again, but, it doesn't. I think it's just need to lower the number. But yeah, so um, again, you just go to some doors, um, you'd interact. Um, so in this room right here, I made it to where a bunch of um, falling objects um, hit the character. And um, just instantly, uh, yeah, insta game. Uh, all I did was um, I gave the character a collision box and. Um, same thing with the objects with the barrow and the, the stone tablet um, collision box as well and if it touches the character it's a trigger where it loads the game over screen so it's very simple it was just something that uh, that I wanted just to kind of show game over and um, okay yeah so again going back to the game um, did I make um, all like the assets and stuff the character I, I made I did it in Photoshop I made um, around three separate images I had his um, uh, I had this uh, actually four images because I had him um, looking straight up and then I had one of him then I had a running animation where it's um, one foot was out and then the other one was the other foot and that's how I was able to make um, the animation move like this um, and yeah, just the, the main idea that I had was just to have the character look up while reading. Um, I think if I had more time, I would have loved to um, have him just looking forward when I wasn't at the notes. But um, again, just uh, if I had, a, I mean, if we all had extra time, I'm sure we would have all had um, different things to do. Uh, let's just keep moving forward. I'm not going to um, really... Uh, I'm gonna let you guys play the game. I'm just gonna kind of just skim through it. Um, again, all the notes kind of have like a, just some type of uh, just this spooky vibe that um, I really got inspired with like Resident Evil games and just some other horror games that I would always read the notes and I'd be like, wow, this is pretty creepy or kind of reading like a diary type of thing. Uh, let me see if I can find any other questions. Uh, what went well in this game and what are you most proud of? Um, I think what really went well was just how smooth the movement and, of course, the camera, but 
even going through the levels. I know someone asked me, um, hey, well, you know, how, how was um, your character, like, how did you move the levels and, and your character's not duplicating? So, again, I have most of the code is on the character. I had it to where if a character is on a certain position, by example, like this door right here, um, uh, well, like even this wall, this wall is a separate asset, and then this door is a separate asset. So wherever I put the door, and I would look at the position I had it in Unity, I would um, type that into the code. I used um, a for loop, so like I had to like put a certain position and then put like a level number because I used the um, the integer for um, the levels. And um, yeah, I would just enter it that way. So whenever the character is in a certain position, it will enter that specific level. So that's how I kind of did that. Um, I think it was this room. I'm trying to remember. Um, uh, then this level, I remember, made a long hallway, just kind of give you that um, that build up fear, of like, oh, is something over there? And then um, this is when the riddles start beginning. Um, again, uh, the spoiler alert: if you guys um, haven't played the game yet, I. I I think it's really cool. I, I like I like riddles and I like um, kind of some um, just it just really makes it fun and trying to solve things. Um, but again, like just an example right here, um, I kind of um, emphasize the right and the left. So um, I had I think believe the left door um, will send you back to the first level. So that's why it's kind of saying like if things would go back to how they were if I had stayed. Um, yeah, so, uh, like I said, I'm not going to spoil too much, but, um, uh, try out the game. Oh, there's that moonwalk that I was talking about. So, um, oh, I did it twice in a row. Yeah, so if I just do it real quick, it'll, um, the animation would still, like, it'll still think I'm going left, but I'm really not. Uh, let's see if there's another question. What went wrong or haywire? Um... Okay, I remember the, the worst thing that happened with making this game was, um, so at the end of each room, I have these collisions, these, uh, these walls, where I can't get past. Um, when I was doing that for loop, um, where I was putting, like, oh, this, uh, this door right here is, um, going to, uh, be in this position, and then I'm gonna enter it, um, so I would put that exact position, and what I found out was, if I ever touch a collision, um, the whole, the whole, um, the whole world is still moving. So then when I would go back, whatever position I put for the door is now somewhere else. So, um, so yeah, that was, it was just, it, it took me like, maybe like four hours to like, figure that out. And, uh, just going through the code, and then, uh, of course, I, I mean, I've had some help. Um, I had to look at some tutorials. Again, I had a lot of help. And, um, the... How do we fix that? I'm trying to remember how I fixed it. Um, <laughs> I like how the character's looking up. Um, fixed it by, um, uh, yeah, it was by thinking that the, um, that... I was thinking that uh, my animation was making everything move. Um, the way we fixed it was, um, I made it to where when I'm, when I'm not, when I'm not moving anymore, the world doesn't move. So I remember I did that. And then, um, in this room right here, I remember there was a question about, like, any secrets in the game. Um, well, in this tombstone right here, if you're standing in front of it and you press E, it actually, um, lets you, uh, go into a death room. So I thought it was really cool. It was actually an accident at first because of, again, like the positions and stuff, but I thought it was really cool because it's a gravestone. But, um, uh, I just find that like a real cool, funny, easter egg type of thing. Um, is there any other questions? Um, what would you do to fix or expand your game? Uh, I would definitely, uh, one of my, my original plan too was to have an AI kind of follow me around throughout the whole game. Um, that was the original plan. I feel like I feel like this is the room. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that was an original plan, but um, I like I said, I just didn't have enough time. And I think I would really like it if there was just something following. And also like the lighting. 
it would be really cool if like lights are flickering and um I guess that was just I guess that's it for what I would want I think I'm not to go back to the game I'm trying to remember that um okay and uh is there any other questions um I did answer that one what went well what he was proud of answer that I guess I answered all those basic questions but um yeah that's still I guess that's pretty much it um I think this is the door probably wrong oh no I got it right okay cool yeah so um really like the <laughs> and then there, there's a way to win the game there, there's people I had people try it out and test it out um, I really wanted them to just see that um, you know if they like it so, I, I think the advice that we got um, from um, uh, from the uh, professor she um, said that you know we should let people test the games out see if, uh, if we can get any improvement and stuff, and definitely uh, there was a lot of people that just thought that you couldn't win this game. And you definitely can, it's just you have to kind of um, just really think outside the box, and um, it's possible. But um, that's pretty much the game, uh, I hope you guys um, try it out, um, I really want to hear y'all's input in it, I hope you guys like it, I'm getting ready for the 3D game. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe I could uh, Maybe make this game just a little bit uh, more intense in the 3D form, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoy the game. I hope you guys um, uh, hopefully reach the end without like raging or anything. Because like this game wasn't meant to rage, but I did have some people try it out. They were just kind of frustrated that they weren't able to get it. But again, you just got to think outside the box. Um, this is gay. Yeah. Um, that's uh, I guess that's my critique on my game and just showing you guys that I uh, can play it. But definitely, I hope you guys uh, try it out and uh, I hope I didn't spoil it. So, thank you.